Dan. Dan? Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you with Dan. Can I get your name and badge on? Or? How about you first, and I'll give you mine. Um, no thanks. No thanks? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. ask your name and badge number. Okay. What can I help you with today? Uh, you can start with your name. What are you here for? I'm here asking your name. You came here to ask my name. You didn't even know I was working. No. So how did you I come here? I, did, I didn't even That's call you. Asking. I didn't even call you here, but you're here. Yes, we got called. So, so your policy for the state police I'm, is you, you you're going to verbalize yourself. Your, you can I'm not going to identify myself. Mm. My ass is grass, huh? Oh. Ooh, he's going to come over. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, where we highlight a few clips of police interactions and police misconduct, with some educational pointers to keep you educated and prepared for your next police encounter. My name is Police Encounters, and my goal is to help educate the public about your rights and how to handle police interactions. As an American citizen, we are given the rights that protect us, and it is the police's duties to protect those rights given to us by the Constitution that they swore an oath to. With that being said, the channels we will be covering today are Auditing Erie County 716. Silent J 307. Do be sure to check them out in the description below because without them, there's no police encounters. And before we do get into our first video, go ahead and gently smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified. It is such a small and easy task for you, but it does help us out tremendously. With all that out the way, let's go ahead and cover our first clip. That lady that was just here, was she the town clerk? You don't know? No, she is not. Oh, who is she? What's her position here? You guys work for the public. These are just common questions. I would think you need permission to do this from the town supervisor. Well, the I'm, I mean... The First Amendment of the United States Constitution grants everyone freedom of the press. That means I don't need to ask permission. I don't need permission to take your photo here. I don't need permission to come to public. This is a public place. This isn't like a private organization. This isn't a secret, you know, private property or nothing. This is public property. I'm standing in the public out here. I mean, I'm just asking simple questions like, who's that lady, what that lady's position is. You should be able to answer that with, uh, you know, Honesty, it's, it's just, that's a legitimate question. Do you guys have a problem with transparency in government here? I really am not going to answer any questions. Hmm. Do you have a copy of the town budget? I would think so. Can I see it? Well, it's up online. We don't have copies readily made right now. You don't have one in the office for inspection? Excuse me? You don't have one in the office for inspection? If there is, there's one out there unless somebody took it. There's a Taylor County Community Health Assessment there. I didn't see the town budget. Out in front. Got free tickets here. Is that lady coming back? Oh, I don't know. She probably went to her office. What, what office is hers? She went that way. <laughs> so you're not going to tell me what her name is, um, what she does here, or anything, huh? It's not my place. Can you call her back out here? You got a public records request? I'm sorry? A public records request, FOIL request? You want to FOIL something? Yeah, I want to FOIL her name. You guys understand that you guys are employees of the people. That it's not a choice you guys get to give is not to give her name, so I'll FOIL her name. That's public record. And you guys will be forced to give it to me then. If we want to play it like that. 
don't know. I just work here. All right, I'll take a FOIA request. I'm going to FOIA request. Yeah. How's it going? Pretty good. Can I get you guys' names and badge numbers? How are you? Good. Can I get Steven your name and badge out? number? Yeah, Stephen Bonaventure. Badge number 2028. Thank you very much. Yeah. What's your name? Oh, my name is Dan. Dan? Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> what can I help you with, Dan? Can I get your name and badge number? How about you first? And then I'll give you mine. Um, no thanks. No thanks? Yeah, I'm okay. ask your name and badge number. Okay. What can I help you with today? Uh, you can start with your name. What are you here for? I'm here asking your name. You came here to ask my name. You didn't even know I was working. No. So how did I, you come I, here? Yeah, to ask I didn't my even name. call you. I didn't even call you here, but you're here. Yes, we got called. So, so I'm your policy you. for the state police is you, you you're going to verbalize yourself. yourself. You can I'm not going to identify myself. You're going to? No, I'm not. I, I don't wish to waive my Fourth Amendment rights. What are you here for? Why are you here today? I'm here to take photographs of the town hall. Photographs? Okay. Just curiosity or what? Can I get your name? You won't give me your name. I don't have to give you my name, sir. You do. I don't. Yes, you do. I have a Fourth Amendment right yes, to do. be secure in my name. No. When you're asked to be identified yourself to a police officer, you need to identify yourself. No, you need to, re you need to educate yourself with the Why Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Why are you here today? I've already answered that question. To take pictures? Correct. Okay. Did you take the pictures you need? No. Okay. You're not going to identify yourself? Yeah. Trooper Colson with the state police. It's and right on here. Badge I number? You see it. Your badge number? Your shield is 4020. Thank you. Okay. Now, was that hard? You still won't give me your information. I don't have to give you my name. You do. I do not. You do, yes. I do not, and I'm not you going to. You just came in here. You're recording me. I'm recording you. We're having a great old time here. Okay. And you won't, you're just being unreasonable. I asked, what's going on? Exercising my constitutional rights is being unreasonable, okay. Trooper. Okay. Are you unfamiliar with the Fourth Amendment? Do they give you any training on that? You are, apparently. You are. Like, somebody's got to. Yeah. Excuse me for one second. This guy seems pretty cool. He, he knows. What's up? He seems to know the rights of the people. This guy over here has got a chip on his shoulder. Can I use one of these pencils right here? Her pens for this football request, ma'am? Yes, you can. Uh, to fill out this full request, I'm going to need that lady's name. Ma'am, is there a supervisor available? Is there a supervisor available? Thank you. You work for the public. Trooper, you're, that's the advice you're going to give her is not to answer questions to the public? I need to speak to a supervisor.
Can I see a supervisor? <laughs> the state trooper told her not to answer any questions, guys. Holy cow. I'm trying to fill a full request here. You guys are inhibiting my ability to do so. Can I get a supervisor, please? Do you work here, sir? Yeah, I do. Are you, your position here? Who are you? My name is Dan. And what are you here for? Uh, I take some photographs of the public areas. Are you the supervisor? Yeah. Oh, cool. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lady in here, not this lady, there's another lady in here. I'm trying to full request her name, her salary and stuff as public records, but she won't give her name. So I'm trying so to fill this out, uh, sure. this full request. Full request, what do you need? Um, I just need her name or a way to put, put her on this form, you understand? Um, I'm not going to give you that. You're not going to give out any public information? File for, file for your information? I can't file a freedom. You understand the pro the problem with um, trying to full request somebody's name and. Uh, I'm not giving out personal records. information. I don't know who you are, who you represent, what you're doing here. Your name is Don Castellucci. All right, Don. Um, I don't know how to put it on the paper. Do you understand like the no. problem well, there? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have to find out then. How am I gonna find out? You're you're not telling me who you are. I'm not telling you. My name is Dan. I'm an independent okay. journalist. From. Who are you representing? Just yourself? I do. I represent myself under the freedom of the press, the First Amendment, mm -hmm. freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press. I'm well aware of the Constitution. You, you, you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yes, I so did. You also swore an oath to uphold this office where FOIA requests is a New York State law, and you're violating the law by not giving the information I'm asking for. I'm telling you to file what you want, and we'll get what we, we'll get it accordingly. Well, how am I supposed to get the lady's name if she didn't give me her name? I am not giving out employees' names. If you don't, Pu employees' names are public servants, and they right. are public record. And that doesn't mean that's I have, public record, I, I, right? Yeah, it's a public record. And when you ask me for that person's name, information, I'll get it for you. All right. Well, how do I put it on the paper? Um, this is the ask ask this, this is a supervisor, guys. He is. Um, Dereliction of his duty here. He has no I, recollection talking. of what he's doing. I this is an elected know. official. You got I think Erie County is at the city clerk's office. Only saying this because he asked if the front desk lady was the town clerk. And here we go. More public servants that don't understand how the First Amendment works. She's not going to say who the front desk lady is. Ma'am, you work for the public. You should be able to tell Erie County her name. It's not hard. You're just making everything harder than it has to be. Now it looks like someone called the Popo, and I'm thinking it's the random front desk lady who is not apparently the town clerk, but is the town clerk. And of course, Trooper Thomas R. Kozoil, badge number 4020, has a very high ego. Erie County asked his name and his badge number, and he just didn't want to give it to him. He says that Erie County has to ID himself. This trooper really thinks he knows better than Erie. And he obviously does not. He doesn't even know the Fourth Amendment. He's a trooper. How the hell did he get there not knowing the Constitution? Now he tells the lady not to answer the public's question. In this case, he recounts questions. That is so wrong. You and her work for us, and you're going to tell her not to answer any questions? What's the damn point in working for the government when you have to work with the public? This trooper must not care about serving the public. This goes to show it. Now we have a supervisor that shouldn't be working for the public either. Erie County is trying to FOIA request a lady and the supervisor won't give him any information on her. She works for the public, so her information is not private. This supervisor is just out of it. Keeps telling him to FOIA request the unknown lady. How does a FOIA request for someone with no name work? Does that make any sense? Well, I guess anyone can work for the public. Because if Donald Casalucci Jr. is doing it, then anyone can too. We all saw how far Silent J was from the investigation going on. It was just recording three officers from the public sidewalk all the way on the other side. Come to find out, they were kicking the young lady out of the homeless shelter. Three officers would do that? Are you serious? Are they trying to be intimidating?
just over here evicting a homeless person from the shelter. That's what the cops are doing. They kicked this homeless lady out of the shelter. And then we're like, we don't give a fuck where you go. Just don't sleep under a bridge or where the public can see you. I wonder what you gotta do to get kicked out of the homeless shelter. Probably not much, it's a state ran agency. What? I got all you on film. Say hi. You got 275 viewers watching. Fucking losers. You got me on film. Oh. Is that why you guys didn't throw her down? Put her in handcuffs? Because I got you on film? got you on film lady you're probably lucky that I got you on film my ass is grass huh oh Ooh, he's gonna come over. Fuck out of here, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking get hit me. Fuck out fucking hit here. me again, motherfucker. Better get the fuck out of hit here. Hit me again, motherfucker. Better get the hit fuck again, out of here. Hit me again, motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, bastard. hit me again, motherfucker. You fucking little bastard. Hit me again, motherfucker. Hey. Hit me again, motherfucker. I'd like to press charges. That guy just fucking hit me. That guy just fucking hit me and I want to press charges. That guy just fucking hit me and I want to press charges. That guy walked across the street and made physical contact no, with me. I you're lucky. No, you're I lucky I didn't fucking you're cut you. You're, you're lucky liar. I didn't hey, cut you. I got it on video. No. Don't tell me what to do, man. I was just Stop assaulted. Talking. Fuck you. Stop talking. I, I want to press charges. Stop that guy just fucking assaulted me. Stop talking. That guy just assaulted me, and you watched it. You watched it. If you apologize, I won't. I won't press charges. You're a fucking bitch. Hang on tight. Step back over here. He's got a knife, dude. He's I do a have a knife. He pulled a knife. I did pull it on him after he hit me. He pulled a knife I have it on video. He pulled a knife I was recording from across the street, and this guy walked across the street and hit me. I have every right to defend myself. Okay. Is the knife back in your pocket? It is right here, sir. If you leave it there, I'd appreciate it. Okay. If you would like to hold on to it, you can. Okay. Do you have any injuries? He hit me. No, I don't believe I'm injured, but I would like to press assault charges. Then all of a sudden, Mr. Clean appears out of thin air, watching Silent J like a hawk. Like, bro, where the hell did you come from? Man has a whole attitude about being filmed, but yet stands there and stares. What does he expect to happen? Then he starts running over to Jay and then hits him. Really? All for being recorded when you did it to yourself? He was staring at Jay for what reason? We don't know. Of course, now there's another damn crazy ego cop. Telling Jay to stop talking. Like, officer, you watched it happen. Otherwise, you wouldn't have screamed hey from across the street. How about you hush up and do the job the right way? Although, I would like to know what Mr. Clean was doing there. Wonder what he was thinking, honestly. Go ahead and comment down below what you think Mr. Clean was thinking. That's going to be it for today's video. If you have a video you'd like us to review, please leave a message in the comments. If you'd enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Be sure to check out the channels we watched today out. Give them a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, on Police Encounters.